Hello guys, welcome to the online learning of the subject Dynamics of Machinery. Now first of all, before learning any subject, it is very important to know why do we learn the subject. Why the subject has been introduced in Mechanical Engineering. As a Mechanical Engineer, we come across many problems. In our day-to-day -day life, we observe many things are directly or indirectly relevant with mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is a very large curriculum. So what this subject is contributing in that sea of curriculum? Majorly, this subject deals with vibrations and balancing. Few other chapters like gyroscope and flywheel are also introduced in this subject. All of us have came across vibrations in one or another way. Say for the example, while you are riding the bike or car. Have you ever opened the bonnet in which the engine and all other assemblies are kept? We know that it always vibrates. If the car is of a very good company, the vibrations will be less. But we cannot neglect the vibrations. Some amount of vibrations are always present. So what are the reasons behind this vibration? How we can avoid them? In other words, how we can balance them? Why the engine is vibrating? but the vibrations are not reaching to us. We will see all these things later on in this curriculum. Currently to start with, let us start from the chapter Gyroscope. Reason behind starting with this chapter is Gyroscope is a very interesting instrument or gyroscopic effect is a very interesting phenomenon. So what is gyroscope? If you understand the basic concepts behind the gyroscope or the gyroscopic effect, it is very simple to understand. But if you don't, it may be complex for you. Have you ever wondered how the airplane in the sky is able to know the angle of tilting Likewise, how the ships in the sea is able to know the angle of pitching. Is the question ever came in your mind that when we start riding our bicycles or two wheelers, why don't we fall? And if the bicycle or two wheeler is not in motion, we always fall. What is the reason that in motorcycle racing the rider is tilting the bike so much but he doesn't fall? Yes. The single answer to all this question is gyroscopic effect. It is the gyroscope with the help of which aeroplanes are able to know the angle of tilt. It is the gyroscope with the help of which ships are able to know the angle of pitching. Pitching is nothing but the up and down motion of the ships. It is the gyroscopic effect which doesn't let the rider fall. So how we can know that the gyroscopic effect is playing some role? Whether it is riding of two wheelers or it is riding of four wheelers and taking turn. Why the four wheelers 
do not turn over at some certain speed it is the gyroscopic effect only so some common things between all these things is the rotating element yes wherever you see anything that rotates gyroscopic effect is always acting on it so let us first understand that what is gyroscope then we will learn that what is gyroscopic effect and what are the reasons behind not falling of the bicycle rider gyroscope is a mechanical system or device which consists of a spinning wheel in our image it is denoted by a rotor or it also can be called a disc in which axis of rotation is free to assume at any orientation by itself means this rotor can rotate in this frame in any direction at any orientation up down left right 360 degree at any orientation you can see it contains a gyroscopic frame in which all the assembly is consisting the rotor is attached with the gimbal which is further attached with the gyroscopic frame and all these supports are with bearings now gyroscope is having a special phenomenon of preserving its current state means if you start rotating the rotor it doesn't let you move at any orientation if you try to move it itself opposes now before starting the study of this chapter first we need to understand some terminologies associated with gyroscope first one is the gyroscopic precession now this is very important term and you will come across this term many times during studying this chapter so what is precession let us understand with some example as i said that gyroscopic effect is a very interesting phenomenon it will be always curious and fun to study this chapter now as you can see in this video there is a wheel attached with the roll and the wheel is free to rotate on the road the wheel is rotating at some speed the road has two ends at one end the rotor or the disc is attached which is rotating and the other end is free and is in hand with the person now answer me the question if you lift this road with one free end what will happen the road will tilt and fall because of the heavy weight of the rotor okay but let's see what happens surprised let's see again so when the person is lifting the road with one hand the road rotates itself it rotates all the way round the person let us again see that in slow motion this is called the precession what if the wheel is not rotating and you lift the road by one free end it will fall but now as the rotor is rotating it will not the road let fall you can lift the road at one free end but the road will also rotate or in other words it will precess this is called precession let us see in another example what if i attach a string on one end of the bicycle wheel when the wheel is not rotating it will fall okay 
but what if I say that it will not fall when the wheel is rotating? Don't agree with me? Let us see an example. See, he is Professor Walter Levin, a great professor in physics at MIT. So you can clearly see that when the rotor is rotating and the string is only attached at one end of the axle, it will not fall but it will rotate itself. So the axis of rotation of the wheel is also rotating itself. This is called the gyroscopic precession means if you apply a force at any one end of the rotor or any one side of the rotor it will start precessing means the gyroscopic effect is restricting you or it is opposing you to apply the force as we said in the starting of learning gyroscopic effect that gyroscope is having a special phenomenon of preserving its current state means if you disturb the axis of rotation of any rotor it will oppose it and start turning or rotating in some other direction in which direction it will turn we will see it later on in this chapter let us understand few other terminologies associated with gyroscope the axis in which any rotor is rotating is called the spin axis. The plane in which the rotor is rotating is called the plane of rotation. In which plane you apply the force is called the plane of force. And because you apply force in one plane, the axis of spin rotates in another plane. So, in which plane the axis of rotation rotates is called the plane of precession. Now don't worry or don't be confused if you don't understand this terminology as of now. We will cover it later when necessary. Thank you for watching this video. We will understand the right hand thumb rule in next video.